Hey, can do it. Rick's here. And in this video, we're taking a look at the, well, look at that. It's called the Craft Design Technology. It's an HB pencil from Japan. Wow, there's a lot of light here. Very hard to look at this, but let's take a look at one. Look at that mighty fine pencil there. And if you can see there, it says Craft Design Technology. And it's got this really light color green, kind of, um, I'm not quite sure what that color is. Let me go look it up. <gasps> well, apparently it's described as a pale green color certainly is pale green kind of pascal like a really light pascal and on the other side you see it says made in japan item 32 pencil hb and you know what else is really cool about this pencil i want you to look at this on the end do you know what that is right there can you believe that that's an eraser it is it's an eraser. I have never seen a pencil like this before. That is quite unique. Now, I have seen this pencil being sold on eBay as listed as rare. And you get like three of these for $24. Don't do that. Those guys are scalpers. This pencil here should cost you no more than say $2 to $2.50 each. Yep. I'm not kidding you. It runs about two to two fifty a pencil, kind of like getting one of those Blackwing pencils, which are about two dollars a piece. But I have scoured all over the internet, and that was pretty much the prices I found. It was like three pencils that comes in this box, for example, three of them for six dollars, three of them for eight dollars. And then, of course, the scalpers on eBay charging you $24 for six pencils. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I only have two of them. And they've been sitting in my queue for quite a long time now. And now I'm going to actually sharpen one of the two. The other one, of course, I'm going to have to save it for a special occasion. I don't know what that occasion will be, but hey, it is only the last one I have. All right. So taking a look at the tip here, well, it looks kind of centered, sort of maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But you can see it's just your standard hexagon tip. It's listed as HB. That's the grade. And it does have a really nice inlay here with the silver chromey looking inlay craft design technology all right so it's time to sharpen this puppy and write with it and i'll give you my views might be worth something i don't know stick around for a second <laughs> Okay, that's done. So it's not exactly centered because you can see that it exposes more lead on one side than it does on the other. So, so the lead is a little bit off, but hey, that's not a big deal. All right, time to get some papel. Here's my nice wrinkly notepad where I usually put my condensating cups on and it's getting all warped and everything, but hey, it will do the job. All right, well, let's just uh, try this out here and see what it's like to write with this. Okay, so this is the craft design. 
technology item 32 what a what a strange name huh item 32 and I'm reading the pencil as I'm doing this pencil HB okay it it feels like a very high quality HB pencil. It's not very dark. As far as dark pencils go, it's it's not a dark pencil, but it does a good job. It feels good. I, it's kind of hard to describe pencils, comparing them to other pencils, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let me go grab another HB pencil here. And let's see, what should I compare the pencil to? Should I compare it to a Blackwing? How about a golden sword high class also made in Japan with eraser hmm yeah let me compare it let me compare it to that so here you can see for yourself here's another made in Japan it's a golden sword high class pencil with the eraser it's an HB so you know apples to apples right all right you stay there don't go anywhere all right, so let's let, let me get a little bit of a comparison going here. All right, this is the golden sword. I'll go down here. Hi. Class pencil. Well, that writes really nice with eraser HB. I like this pencil. This is nice. Okay, but that's not what I'm doing a review on. I'm doing a review on this one. So let me write it with this one now. And this is some crunchy paper this is the craft that's a terrible f there time to use my eraser hmm let's give that a little zoom in there i'm going to use this eraser let's see what it looks like here look at that isn't that cool That's the coolest eraser. I mean, compare it to these other kinds. You got the metal ferrule on here, right? But this one here has no metal ferrule. It just goes from wood into this really interesting eraser. I wonder if that comes off. Hmm, I don't know. Seems to be on there pretty good. Okay, well, that's good to know. It's really on there. Okay. So let's get back to biz. This is the craft design. Okay, technology. Oh, it's good too. Item 32, pencil. All right. That's interesting. All right. Okay, so. Give them both a sharpen. I'm glad that sharpener 
stops on its own. All right, they're both equally sharpened. Okay. Dear Mom, I was so happy to see you yesterday. Do you have the twenty dollars you owe me? Just joking, she doesn't owe me anything. Anyway, and I'm testing out an HB pencil. Boy, I like this one. This one's really good. Okay. So, well, testing has two T's, doesn't it? Well, it's like, you know, maybe I'm going to have to do the old blind test. Here's another pencil, also made in Japan. And it is, ooh, it's called the Mark Sheet HB. That's going to be a tough one to fight against. Ah, uh, I don't know. This way I can't tell the difference on how they feel. They feel the same. They've got the same enamel paint job feel to it. So now what I got to do is I got to close my eyes. Wait a minute, let me make sure I can feel where this paper is right here. Okay, close my eyes. All right, so I'm gonna keep my fingers down here low, but I wanna, all right, let me just feel this. Okay, that's nice and smooth. Okay. Try to avoid touching the other end. Okay, well the first one I think felt a little bit softer. Hmm. A little bit, yeah. This this one has a little bit more scratch to it, I think, this one. So anyway, okay, I'm going to open my eyes, but I think I like this one a little better, but they're just, well, I don't know. They feel kind of the same. Yeah. They feel the same. I can't really tell. Anyway, and looking at this, um, I don't know which was which. So, and I don't even know which one was this one, the first one, but they do look alike. Okay. I'll leave a I'll leave a line in between there so I can write in between. And here. So, they're both the same. High quality. They are both write really nice. I don't see anything wrong with this pencil. This is a pretty good pencil from Japan. It's made by Camel. Okay. It's made by Camel 
for craft design technology in their exclusive custom mint color. Mint. That's the color. It's mint. It's glossy lacquer with silver foil imprinting and white eraser. Measures about seven and a quarter inches long. It's hexagonal. The box itself is seven inches and three eighths long. It's one inch wide, about five six in, sixteenths of an inch deep. So you get about three of these pencils in this one box. I only have two, but you get three of them. And you can get it for about six bucks some places, eight bucks in other places. But it is definitely a very nice pencil. I think it's one of the high quality ones. Most pencils from Japan seem to be high quality. Nice that they take graphite seriously over there. It's smooth. I like it. So there you go. You know, if you're a pencil collector, you might want to snatch a craft design pencil. This is again, item 32 HB. And so now it will be in my collection. Until next time, folks. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you liked the review. If so, please give me a thumbs up, because that really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.